Minister, people smuggling is already an offence under the Illegal um, Emigrants Trafficking Act 2000. However, this bill fulfils additional requirements on Ireland from the EU and provides for the implementation of three international legal instruments in the area of people smuggling. I am very supportive of this and would urge its swift passage here. Indeed, Ireland needs to provide an effective international response to the growing problem of people smuggling. We must be clear, however, that people smuggling is not trafficking. Trafficking is carried out for the exploit purpose of exploitation um, and need not necessarily involve illegal entry into a state. People smuggling does involve illegal entry and it does involve uh, exploitation. When, when someone is involved with a people smuggler, they are a victim and we need to protect those victims. People smuggling costs lives and is a business model. We need to put them out of business and we need to stamp it out. This bill will stipulate that any person who deliberately assists unauthorised entry, transit or resident of a non-EU na um, national in the EU is to be sanctioned unless they are doing so for humanitarian reasons. Seeing the balance of supporting genuine humanitarian efforts while tackling people smuggling is most welcome. In 2020, UN expert Siobhan Mullally told the General Assembly that COVID-19 increased the risk of exploitation of women, children, migrants and other vulnerable people. A new model of identification and early support and assistance is needed, one that recognises the vulnerability is shaped by discrimination and by the inability of a person to gain access to social protection and effective remedies. That is exactly what she stated, Minister. I would also agree that we need to um, have a lot of changes to the um, migration policies and a radical refocus on international human rights law and practice to combat this criminality. And this bill, it is very supportive of that. The reality in these crimes is that in most cases, payment um, to be smuggled into Ireland will have been made outside the state and evidence of payment, Minister, is so difficult to find. It's also the case that people being smuggled are often unwilling to be witnesses for the prosecution and this makes it all the more difficult and we must all do what we can to safeguard these victims from the abuse, financial exploitation or even death that can occur with smuggling. I am happy to see in Section 5 a provision in respect of the definition of assistant presence, which in Section 6 and 7 ensures that no doubt exists that the ordinary provision of goods and services, including, for example, rental accommodation, does not constitute an offence, even if the person providing the goods or service is aware that the receiver is unlawfully present. Sometimes people will help the victims and will not be the one who smuggled. And I think, Minister, that's very important because that is the difference there. As I said, people smuggling is a business model and it is largely the preserve of organised criminal gangs whose sole motivation is profit. Women and children are often the most vulnerable of their prey and we have to do all we can to protect these vulnerable people. These criminals take advantage of the vulnerable and the desperate and desperate people who only seek a better life than the one they are living now. Thank you.